got our cat Sammy at the end of April 2021. I had stopped into a pet store on a whim because my my plants had gotten changed on that Sunday afternoon. That's where I saw my boy Sammy here. Um, yeah, I, I texted a picture of him to my wife who immediately said, I want him. So I, uh, I immediately rushed home, filled out the adoption application, and uh, within a week we had him. So when we, when we got him, there was no reason to believe anything was wrong with him. He was running around. He was a very hyper kitten who loved to play. He had a great appetite. And uh, overall, I couldn't imagine what would end up happening. The first sign of trouble came a little over a month later. I had a very bad feeling that something was wrong with him. He seemed to lose energy and not play as much as he used to. Everyone I brought this up to was pretty dismissive about it. They uh, said that he was he was growing up, he's changing. Uh, but of all the cats I've ever had and uh, that I've ever met, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, he's He was only five to six months old, but he was already acting like an old man. In early July, I noticed he had stopped eating for a few days and he had lost weight. And uh, that for me alarmed me enough that I had called the vet to make an appointment. On Sunday morning, my wife and me noticed an alarming new symptom is that he could no longer move his tail. He was just dragging it along the ground. So uh, on Sunday night, we took him to the emergency vet. I remember the date was 7-11. So it's uh, not a date that I'll ever forget. Uh, that night, we got a call. And uh, that was when I first heard about FIP. And so that was, uh, that was devastating to my wife and me, that he could have this deadly illness. Uh, just a week prior, we thought he was fine, but now he's, uh, he might, be, uh, might not be with us much longer. The next morning, we went and got him from the emergency vet. We had left him there overnight so they could observe him. And by the morning, they had actually changed their diagnosis and they said uh, most likely culprit was a bacterial infection. They said uh, what, what made them change their mind was that the, uh, the fluids and the treatments they were given typically uh, don't help FIP cats, but he did respond. So that was uh, unusual. But he, uh, he did not get any better from that. I took him to the, our, uh, our regular vet later that morning who confirmed he was, uh, he was in bad shape. He was also very anemic. So uh, my, my regular vet said that it also might be a autoimmune disorder. So we got him a uh, steroid to help with that if that was indeed the case. Steroid and the uh, antibiotic we got from the emergency vet uh, did not seem to have any effect on him. He only got worse. At first it seemed like he was more alert, but then later on I noticed his uh, walking started to get wobbly. Uh, he had trouble moving around, and by that evening he could barely move at all. I really did not expect him to live through the night from seeing him in that shape. Our kitten did live through the night, which I was very happy to see, but I knew that it wouldn't last. Um, by at, at about noon, we got a call from the vet asking if he was responding to the medication and we, uh, we responded that no, he isn't. 
and uh, we were asked by the vet, can we, can we take him in right away? And at the vet, they, uh, they said that he's once again confirmed that he's severely anemic, but that, he's, that they said he most likely would not live through the day. And so uh, they didn't say that we should euthanize him, but they kind of implied it. And I, I agreed if that was, if, if it was uh, inevitable that he's not going to live through this, uh, that it might be the most humane way to go. My mother had come over and it was the same time with my wife. Uh, my wife was very upset understandably so and so was I um and my wife at, at that vet visit she had waited outside because she just didn't want to hear anything the vet said because she knew it would be bad news um so when uh when the vet said what he did my uh my mother out to tell my wife uh to go get her to and uh to come say goodbye and uh, to which she was not would not have it. She uh, came in and yelled at the vet, said, "No, there's no way we're euthanizing him." Uh, she was angry about it. So uh, I backpedaled. I said, "I said, okay, we won't do it now. We'll just take him home and decide what we're going to do later." Uh, that's once again the vet confirmed that uh, he's not going to live past today, most likely. I had to go back to work after that, but uh, I wasn't able to do very much work. I was, I was there, but my mind wasn't there. Um, and so, I mean, at that point, we were all very, we were all devastated. We knew it was the end. Um, as far as we knew, there was nothing we could do about it. At this point, I had already known that FIP Warriors was a thing. My sister had found their website and pointed it out to me. Uh, but at first, I thought it might have been a scam. There were a few things that finally convinced me that not only is it real, but the, uh, the treatment that they mention is something that I need to get a hold of right away. The first thing is that, uh, as it turns out, my cat's brother had just started treatment for FIP and was responding well to the treatment through that FIP Warriors group. My uh, adoption agency had contacted them uh, when he started showing signs of uh, FIP and uh, he started his treatment just a few days before mine. The second thing was the reality setting in that if I don't at least try to do something, this will be his last day. And although I wasn't sure that it was FIP, I knew that it could be. And the third thing was that while I was at work, I received a call from a representative of this activist group, FIP Warriors, who explained to me that uh, not only do I not have to pay it all up front, um, the, uh, the the adoption agency offered to pay up to $200 to cover the first few treatments. And uh, not only would the first few treatments be covered, but in fact, they, uh, there was someone just a few miles to the south of where I was uh, who had the treatment on hand so we could potentially get it within the hour uh, and get his first get his first dose that day. We just needed to get him stabilized because the uh, the anemia was still very severe and uh, it didn't it didn't change the fact that he still might not live through the day if that didn't get taken care of. My wife was at home along with my mother and my mother-in-law and uh, they were all together with the cat believing that it still might be his last day but I, I rushed home and I let them know the uh, sudden glimmer of hope 
I said that they need to take him to this particular address, this person's house, right away because we might have a chance to save him after all. I believe that's what they call Deus Ex Machina. The cat was able to get his first dose within the hour, and immediately they rushed him over to the animal ER. I unfortunately had to stay at work, so uh, I wasn't able to be there. But they rushed him to the ER. He got a blood transfusion right away. They had his blood type on hand, thankfully. And uh, he was in such dire shape that they, in fact, had to rush the transfusion. And uh, I was on pins and needles for the next few hours to see if the transfusion would work. But one thing that the doctor did confirm to me on the phone was that it is indeed FIP. He wasn't con even considering anything else at that point. Uh, all the signs were there of FIP. He survived the night and the uh, animal ER called me a few times to give updates. And they said uh, he started eating again. He started being more active and eventually they were able to turn off the heat lamp because his uh, body temperature returned to normal. At that night at about 6 p.m., about 24 hours after we took him there originally, um, they I got a call from the uh, animal ER saying that he was starting to get worse again. And although his blood cell count seemed to uh, start heading in the right direction, they said that he wasn't as responsive and they had to turn the heat lamp back on. Um, and so my, uh, I, I asked them if we could go and visit him. My wife, my mother and me went down to visit him at the hospital. And while we were there, we agreed that what's going to save his life is this antiviral medication we got through FIP warriors, not anything that the animal hospital could do. We decided to take him home and treat him at home, but we noticed as soon as we saw him, he was a lot more alert than they had described on the phone, which I found puzzling. Thank you.